right, uh, this is Fight Sport Manila. I'm with Coach George Castro. Coach, uh, it's about almost eight days before the fight. How prepared is Brandon for this? This is probably the most prepared I've seen Brandon. Uh, he's faster. He's moving better, he's hitting angles, his conditioning is better. Uh, overall, it's been a great camp. There's no injuries, nothing to set us back. So his weight is actually lower than last fight, so we're a little bit quicker and his condition is up and he's even stronger. So everything went well this camp, so I'm excited for this fight. Now, uh, with Mar Mauro Cerelli, there's a lot of videos online compared to his last opponent. Which aspect of Mauro's game are you preparing on most? Um, we don't really focus too much on one thing. We kind of stay around where we switch. We, we do every, we train everything just for that certain thing. If it goes to the ground, if it stays standing, wrestling, whatever it is, Brandon's a well-rounded fighter. So I don't have any worries about anything that I've seen from the videos of our opponent. Um, I think we're gonna be a little bit quicker and I think we're gonna have better conditioning. And I think we have a lot more experience. So uh, I think we're gonna do really well. Yeah, and a different topic, you've been upgrading the game of our local fighters like Denise Zamboanga, Mark Striegel. Are you open to getting more Filipino fighters and elevating them like you did? Yeah, of course. That, that's the reason why Brandon and I moved here with our team and our gym. So with like Denise and you know we did that fight together with Mark, um, we're looking for other uh, fighters in the Filipino area here people from the streets who only want to fight because that's all they have. That's what I want to co focus on because even in America, people who don't have the resources to do to go to school or something like that, sports is the outreach, right? So I know there's plenty of, of tough Filipinos. I'm, I'm a full Mexican, so the Mexican pride is almost like Filipino pride. We'll fight, we'll fight, we fight until we die, yeah? So that's why I wanted to come here with Brandon, so we can build up the Filipino country. That way the world, the entire world, not just Asia, the entire world is going to know that the Filipinos, that the Philippine team from Alliance, Brandon Veras, you know, my, my stuff, Coach Carl, Coach Billy from the States, we're bringing that top-notch training to the Filipino culture so we can help the Filipinos have a better life not just with fighting but have them an outlet to make money and provide for their families is there any timeline when Alliance Training Center opens uh, we were trying for the end of this year but early next year for sure it, it's, it's getting built right now so as soon as that's built we're planning on having a tryout we're gonna have a lot of local fighters come in actually all over Asia we have emails all the time so when the gym is open we'll make the announcement we will conduct a tryout we will start building our team here in the Philippines all right we're looking forward to seeing you uh, Thank you. Improve more fire. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you, Thank so you very much. much. Thank you. Sure.